dear friends, let's not kid ourselves. In a situation of injustice and oppression, there can be no neutrality. You have to take sides. You have to say, am I on the side of justice or am I on the side of injustice? When, when an elephant is sitting on the tail of a mouse and you say, I am neutral, the mouse is not going to be particularly pleased about your neutrality. You have already made a decision. You have decided to, to be on the side of the powerful, of the elephant. There is no neutrality. Infinite worth 
because they are created in the image of God. We want a new South Africa that is democratic, truly democratic. We want a South Africa that is truly just. And it's going to happen. Truth commissions reveal to you that you and I are capable of the most ghastly atrocities. Those who were perpetrators in South Africa, those who supported Hitler, are not people with horns. And if you look carefully, you'll see their tail. The ordinary human beings like you and me. They went to church. They were decent members of their community, it was not. And so you and I can't ever be hoity-toity. You and I can but say, there yeah, but for the grace of God, go I. For I don't no, I couldn't predict that if I had been subjected to the same conditions as these people, I wouldn't turn out the same. Truth Commission is also wonderful, wonderfully demonstrate that you know what? Yes, these atrocities are gush. These perpetrators can be awful guys. But it isn't the, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't the end of the story. It isn't, it isn't even the whole story. It isn't even the most important part of the story. The important is, hey, we human beings can be extraordinarily magnanimous. Frequently in, in, in the TRC, I'm saying, when someone who by rights should have been bristling with hatred and anger, but no one we really actually even to embrace in public someone who had done the most abominable things, I would say, I'll say, let us keep quiet. Let us keep quiet. For we are in the presence of something holy. We really ought to take off our shoes. For we, for we are standing on holy ground. We human beings are fantastic things. We, yeah, we are made, we are made ultimately isn't it incredible that we finite creatures can be can be those who are made for the infinite, for the transcendent? We, we.
A person is a person through other persons. The solitary individual is really a contradiction in terms. I don't know how to walk as a human being. I don't know how to speak, how to think. I don't know how to be human. I need other human beings to help me to be human. None of us comes fully formed into the world. I need you in all of your giftedness, with all your weaknesses. I need you so that I can be, I can be me in all of my giftedness and my weaknesses. Satisfaction. You see, you to say this That is pretty smart. I hope you know the lovely story of Adam and Eve. Adam is sitting in the garden and he's probably having the time of his life. And he's really himself sitting around him and he's like, I'm going to show you. It's not good for this guy to be alone. Mm. <laughs> and so, and so God says, and so God says, uh, Adam, says, yeah. <laughs> How about choosing a mate from, from his uh, animals? And so God makes the animals pass in front of Adam. And says, How, How about this one? No. What about this one? Not only your life. Uh, and so God puts Adam to sleep and as the story goes, out of Adam's dream produces this delectable creature, Eve. And Adam awakes and says, wow. This is just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> well, it is in fact, yeah, it is a charming story. Speaking of the fact that we are made for complementarity, that none of us can ever be
and as God's favorite collaborators, co-workers. Have you noticed? Young people, young people, God says to you, please, please, please dream. of all these like us. Dream, dream of a world where poverty is no more. Dream of a world that is marked by a, an equity where everyone, everyone has a different decent life. We can, we can have such a world. And God says, please, please dream. And God says, please, please dream. Conductor Jakubus de Jager leading a star-studded cast there in the global premiere of a brand new work by Kathleen Tagg. There we can see her congratulating the orchestra, leaping up and down. Fantastic. Our South African-born but now New York-based composer, Kathy Tagg. That work of hers, Please Dream, in his words, the unmistakable voice of the late Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu, uh, those very profound words of his uh, interspersed with the music, such interesting uh, techniques and instruments uh, playing uh, some very familiar tunes, but also some unconventional and extended techniques. Um, but what a feel good work, what a great way to celebrate the Arch's legacy, uh, what he means for South Africa and what the SICMF means for music locally and abroad. Once again, uh, huge kudos to Jakubus de Jager as the standing-in conductor. 
Uh, Zandi van Dijk was originally scheduled. We believe he had some troubles arriving here. Oh, it looks like there's going to be a spontaneous encore or tribute. Let's see what happens now.